All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're picking up today back on the project with the Camaro um, building this LT1. We're trying to get the head straight. Um, last video, we were starting to try to get an idea what uh, how to match the headers up to the runners. Um, on this video, we're gonna go. We're gonna kind of put that to the side for right now. I got a new set of uh, Felpro 1284s in. Uh, the the opening on these are a little larger than the gas the gaskets that I had before. Um, so I'm gonna take these out, get them on the head, see how they look and how they fit, uh, and, and and if it looks like we have some more material we can remove from some areas um, on the ports. Um, once we kind of get that done um it's basically just off to the machine shop and have them do their whole deal there like we discussed in the last video um, i might try to go a little further in depth on like some of the measurements on the heads um just because i think it'd be cool to do that um yeah but anyway we'll, we'll get to it here in just a minute stay tuned see you in a minute Okay guys, we're back. Uh, I'm getting ready to bring the heads out and get these gaskets uh, set up on them, the 1284s we talked about. Um, I'm gonna first, as you can see, I got a pile of leaves out here. Uh, these trees have been dropping like crazy, so uh, I gotta get those out of the way first and then we'll get started. Hang with me. All right guys, so I'm gonna bring you in here and show you. I'm actually kind of surprised a little bit to be honest. I had read everywhere online that the 1284s were bigger than the other gaskets, but as you can see, I mean, it's a little bit wider in some areas, but at as far as height, which is where I thought I was going to be able to pick it up some difference. I mean, it's it's right there at the roof already. So, not really going to be able to go up any higher at the opening anyway. Um, there's probably some room left to go up. I know a lot of guys are breaking through on the rocker stud holes. Um, and I have not got to those yet. Um, the only thing is the rocker stud holes are behind the pinch and or like further further down in there past the pinch so I just don't I'm not sure that opening I really feel like opening them up past that more is not really going to get me a whole lot of extra out of it so um, yeah something to consider there not really sure where I want to go with it from there but this head had quite quite a bit of core shift to it and I had some walls that were thinner than the others and I had to epoxy some pinholes um, so we're gonna give that a try don't think it'll be a problem everything seems to be really uh, you know it's set up well and it feels sturdy and doesn't feel ultra thin or anything so I think we'll be okay there. All right, so I wanted to give you all a little bit of info on the heads here. Um, I had mentioned that I was doing some port work on them, but we really didn't go into too much detail, you know, about the measurements and the numbers and what have you. Um, 
I mentioned the chambers. Um, like I said, I just rolled the edges and those came out to 55. Originally they were 54 cc's. And on the intake runners, uh, right here at the push rod pinch, we ended up with uh, an inch from one, an inch 110. Um, and then on the height at the push rod pinch, we were at um, an inch 910. So um, I have to do the numbers back on the calculator in there, but I kind of have got the um, CSA and where I think the flow will be um, as far as like a max RPM number, um, kind of where I think it'll do peak torque and all that. I, I don't remember it right off the top of my head. I did it about a, a week or two ago. But uh, like I said, the intake valve is a 194 and the throat percentage on it is at uh, 90 and then the exhaust valve is a 150 and the throat on it um, that one is at 86 percent the bowls are just a little bit bigger but not too much they are in there at well I better get a measurement so I can tell you for sure but hold tight I'll grab something and we'll measure it all right so what we're going to do, we're going to take this, compress it down, and then when you let it go, it snaps open. So I'm trying to get a measurement down here inside the, uh, the bowl area across the, the face of the, uh, across the top of that valve guide. And we're just going to open it, let it snap into place, and should be about there tighten that down and see as you can tell we can't pull it back up through and that's because as we're going down in there you want that throat which is right here just underneath the uh, valve seat we want that to be a little bit tighter or a smaller area than the bowl itself so we want it to roll up into it um, Get a measurement on it here see what we came up with Let's make sure I zero it so 1.813 1.813 and if we do our math on that uh, we come up to uh, the 1.813 divided by 1.94, we get 93.5% uh, down there. So the bowls, like I said, the, you got the throat is 90.5 and, and then 93.5 uh, down on top of the uh, valve guides. Now I CC'd the heads after I ported them. And that's one reason I kind of went back in and checked on uh the head the, the gaskets wanted to make sure that they were that you know they were open to the right size i couldn't remember which gasket set i had from before i might have already had a 1287 on it i mean a 1284 sorry i wanted to make sure that that was correct because people are saying that they got um you know when they're porting these heads that they're coming up with 205 cc runners on the intake somewhere 200 205 well I CC these after I have ported them and um, I've gotten them uh, at one, 181 is what they're coming up to be in. So I'm really not sure where to pull another 24 cc's of aluminum out of these things. I mean they feel pretty thin in a lot of areas as you can tell. I mean I already got some pinholes on the push rod pinch where we had that core shift happen. Um, like I said, it's just one of those deals. I don't know how far I want to really try to keep pushing it. Uh, the, especially considering the push rod pinch is already open as much as I can get it. So that's going to be, I guess, in my mind, it's the choke point for the whole head. So i uh, kind of halfway tempted just to leave it 
as as that and call it good um, if you guys know if you guys do know uh, you know maybe some suggestions on where to try to find that extra uh, material at to pull it out of here um, I, I'm open to suggestions but like I said I, at, at this point I just don't feel but so comfortable hogging it out much more because I feel like I'm, I'm only going to be hurting I don't, I don't think I'm going to be helping performance I don't know if I'll hurt it either but I don't I don't think I'll be helping it any since I can't get the uh, push rod pinch wider or taller um, anyway like you guys let me know what you think about that uh, I'm kind of curious now now that I'm looking at these gaskets if they're even the right ones I mean I, these are the 1284s which I thought is what I had read was supposed to be the right ones but I just thought they would be bigger like uh, I thought the holes would be bigger in it so anyway I'll do some more digging into that and figure out if this is the right part number for the gasket that I was looking for and if not I guess I'll order the correct one and then we'll do this again so we can find out but um, like I said I, I don't know if you can see down in there really good or not maybe I can get you closer um, back in there where the guide bosses are I thin those out quite a bit um, so I believe that would that should help out with some stuff too I guess I, I could probably pull a little bit more out of those too which would give me some of that volume but like I said let me let me know what you guys think y'all you know if, if somebody out there has done some of these heads before and has some recommendations on it I'm open to them so anyway uh, comment like and subscribe guys and we'll see you in the next one thanks